tigers surround the divers. It's a big no for me. <laughs> that was a clip from Sharkane, Hawaii, a part of the ongoing four-week Nat Geo event known as Shark Fest. I thought he would be in a cage. The man we just saw swimming with the sharks, he's actually here. Shark Fest star and marine ecologist Dr. Michael Heidhouse. Oh, my One brave goodness. Man. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not crazy. You know, once you get to know these animals, you can see you can be in the water with them safely. But we have lots of safety divers, and we always make sure we're doing things that are safe for the animals and the people. Okay, so we have to talk about, because the safety is a major issue. <laughs> yeah. We have been talking a lot recently about shark attacks at beaches. There were some in New York's beaches just last recently, week. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck is going on? Well, there are a few things going on. One is we've actually been protecting sharks, so the numbers are starting to slowly tick back up. We've also cleaned up our water, so there's a lot more prey for them. And then we have a lot more cameras in the air and on phones, and so we're seeing sharks a lot more often. So it may feel like something's going on. We have had some bites, but the numbers really globally are pretty much level. And so there's nothing scary going on. And, you know, if you want to be safe at the beach, there are a few things you can follow. But there are other things out there that are way more dangerous than sharks. So how rare is an unprovoked shark attack? Well, it's incredibly rare. I mean, you're much more likely to drown. And, you know, we don't really think of that as a a risk that we would not go on the water for. We just take precautions, and it's the same with sharks. So, you know, a few handy things to think about are if you see someone fishing, maybe don't swim there. If you see huge schools of bait, you don't want to swim there either. You can avoid dawn and dusk, so you can be safe. But still, it's more dangerous to drive to the beach than it is to go in the water at the beach. But what happens if you find yourself next to a shark? Well, what do you do? Do you play dead? <laughs> Don't play dead. <laughs> the first is, if you find yourself with a shark, and uh, you may want to keep your eye on it and slowly get out of the water. I mean, most predators won't attack something that sees them. So keep your eyes on it and get out of the water. Um, if you are unlucky enough to have a, a shark bite you, you should punch it in the nose, go for the gills or the eyes. But again, that's really, really unlikely to happen. And you know, we know we've had some bites here off New York. Luckily, these have been species that aren't super dangerous to people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. But you know, we also have to keep in mind, these are important animals to have in our oceans, and we have to figure out how we can coexist with them. And we are in their home, technically, when we're in the water. We are most definitely <laughs> technically in their home. Sharks are scary, though, for a lot of people. You say they're actually misunderstood. They need like a whole new PR team to like help with this messaging that's around them. They're important creatures for the ecosystem? Yeah, you know, the, the sharks can be really important to maintaining healthy oceans. They can keep prey populations in check. They can kind of keep prey out of areas. A spot we've worked for decades in Australia, having sharks there helps the seagrass grow. And that seagrass is where the baby fish grow up and the baby shellfish that we like to eat. So if you like seafood, you probably want to have sharks in those oceans because they actually are benefits to the ocean and to people. National Geographic Shark Fest is currently available on National Geographic, Nat Geo Wild, Hulu, and Disney Plus. Dr. Michael Heithouse, thank you so much for being with us. So good to have you with us. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.